It's Oscar Mora. Love you. From the top. Why can't I be more conventional? People stop, people stare, so I try. But that's not for me. For I can't see My kind of crazy world Keeps passing me by So let people wonder Let them laugh, let them frown You know I'll love you Till the moon's upside down Don't you remember Johnny was always your clown Why try to change me now? Thank you very much, you're very kind. That's a great song, isn't it, Cy Coleman? That's one of those Valium and Razorblade songs that I like to listen to at home in my Selka PJs as I wonder, why wasn't I born about 127 years ago? Now, Dean Moore is gonna remind me, because Ed McMahon couldn't make it tonight, who's on next? Ed. Ah, now, you know, earlier, I was talking to Samantha Shelton, and she did not know that one of Cole Porter's last score for the motion pictures was for my uncle's uh, High Society with Louis Armstrong, Frank Sinatra, the marvelous Grace Kelly, of course, uh, Louis Calhern, and um, good Lord, everybody was in that picture. It was one of Metro's big, big films, and Cole Porter wrote a great song called Samantha. And uh, it's funny that she didn't know it. I love you, Samantha, la da dee da 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 Well, anyway, he sang it to a nine-year-old girl, so let me just invite up a lady who's a little bit older than nine, and she's a lovely lady, and we enjoyed her so much earlier. I'd like to bring back Miss, Miss Samantha Shelton, looking diaphanous in her black outfit, I must say. Like it's Paula living. Negri, you look lovely. And I want to tell you, everybody enjoyed you. I have some text messages from Iowa, New Jersey, New York, Florida. People are watching and they're saying, bring back the girls, Johnny, bring back the girls. Which you know that Adam's already left. Of course, I had to loan him the money for the ballet. But I want to tell you, I, I really enjoyed your song. And what are you going to do? I'm gonna do a little song called These Foolish Things. Ah, did you know that when Sinatra recorded it, that last part about uh, something about and listening to Crosby's records in the other room. Yeah, yeah have you heard that? There's like a hundred verses to that song and that is one of them. Well, <laughs> here she is once again, the very brilliant actress, singer, and I think a lovely lady, and I think you'll agree with me, gentlemen, and some of you girls too. Miss Samantha Shelton. I'd just like to dedicate this song to little Maddie over here, who's just charming everybody. She's such a wonderful dancer, and it's never too young to start, right? Give her a hand. <laughs> a cigarette. That bears your lips traces An airline ticket to romantic places Oh, how my heart has wings These foolish things remind me of you A tinkling piano in the next apartment those stumbling words that told you what my heart meant A background's pain and sweet These foolish things remind me of you You came, you saw
Seven foolish things that would remind me of you, except your husband's here. And I was hoping you could stick around and do another song before you well, sure, sit why down. Not? I mean, since you're here, you might <laughs> since as well, I'm right? Here, why not? And I saw uh, a title that I haven't heard in years, and you're going to sing. This is a great old song. It's called Red Lips Kiss My Blues Away. And I used to sing this. I was in a band called The Pretty Babies with Zoe De Chanel about 100 years ago. And we used to sing this song with our ukuleles. And, I okay. of course, Dean Moore knows it, so we're going to do it. Well, very good. Let's give her a hand and let her sing another song. Why didn't you say that, folks, huh? Here she is, Miss Thank Samantha Shelton.
Linda Shelton, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, I am such a lucky boy when I have so many wonderful guests, but Samantha, thank you so much. And the band sounded great, didn't they? Yes, they did. And here's someone else who sounds great. You heard her earlier, and I want to bring her back again to spare you from one of my numbers. The wonderful Miss Cassie Miller. And here she is, Cassie Miller, ladies and gentlemen. So if you will direct your attention to the stage so this lovely lady, the Society Chanteuse, can perhaps toss a tune your way. What are you going to do, kid? Kid, I love that. I'm, I'm going to sing Teach Me Tonight. And uh, are these in five easy lessons? Well, <laughs> okay, with it depends me, on the night. Okay, with my situation, it's about 100 milligrams. So I'll step aside and let Miss Cassie Miller teach us all tonight. Here we are. Did you say I've got a lot to learn? Well, don't think I'm trying not to learn Since this is the perfect spot to learn Teach me tonight Starting with the ABC of it Right down to the X, Y, Z of it. Help me solve the mystery of it. Teach me tonight. The sky's a blackboard high above you. If a shooting star goes by, I'll take that star and ride. I love you a thousand times across the sky. One thing isn't very clear, my love. Should the teacher stand so near? Graduation's almost here, my love. Teach me tonight. the best talent you will ever find in the City of Angels. 
and I, I want to tell you, I'm so thrilled to have you here tonight. And I know you're going to do us a favor with one more number. Uh, I have no idea, actually. I didn't take advantage of you. Yeah, I've heard this. I've, that yeah, was, I've heard it told. Well, it's not true. And, <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because we have a special announcement coming up just in a little bit. And now I want Cassie to sing. What are you going to do now? What's the song? You took, advantage. you took advantage of me. That marvelous. That's a great song. A lot of energy. Yeah. Because uh, right now I was all work. relaxed. I was going to want to smoke, but Dr. Schroeder left so I can do whatever I want now. No smoking. All right, I'll go away. All right, here we go. Sentimental sap, that's all What's the use of trying not to fall? I had no will, you made your kill Cause you took advantage of me I'm just like an apple on a bough And you're gonna shake me down somehow So what's the use? You cooked my goose Cause you took advantage of me now, I'm so hot and bothered that I don't know my elbow from my ear. I suffer something awful each time you go, but much worse when you're near. And here am I with all my bridges burned. I'm just a babe and I'm where you're concerned. So lock the doors and call me yours, cause you took advantage of me. gentlemen and remember Cassie will be back here at the Cicada Club in two weeks with her own show That's right. Cassie Miller and the gold standard and I think I think you just got a nice appetizer for what I know will be a marvelous evening thank you so much Cassie bless you thank you very much isn't she wonderful Cassie Miller I'll uh, tell you we've had some wonderful wonderful singers tonight the next song uh, ladies and gentlemen I wanted to do a number that's rather dated uh, but then again, everything I does is somewhat dated. But I think you'll remember it. It's a rather lush old melody from one of those marvelous musicals that we all enjoy. I hope you'll enjoy this one. You are my lucky star. <clears throat> I have to wait for my cue. That's my note? Oh, that's it? Okay, I'm sorry. You are my lucky star. I found you from afar Two lovely eyes that to me were beaming, gleaming I was starstruck I didn't think you could hit that note. <laughs> You, 
you, you know, beware of people who bring you. I was about to hit my note. I was about to hit my damn note. Uh, yeah. That kind of threw me. Thank you, Adam. Ah, da, da, da. Okay, where am I? Here we are. Okay, there we go. One more time. You've opened heaven's portal here on earth for this mere mortal. You are my lucky star. From the top, please. You are my lucky star. I found you from afar. Two lovely eyes that to me were beaming, gleaming. I was starstruck. You're all my lucky charms. I love you in my eyes. You've opened heaven's portal here on earth for this poor mortal. You are my lucky star. I bit that one. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Adam, come back up here, because you brought me a drink. Anyone who brings me a drink and is not wearing a police uniform. Well done, sir. I hit the note. You did? You got it. I got it. You got it. I love what you did. Now, was that your Martin and, was that your Lewis or Halpern? What was that you Ooh, just did? Oh, easy, easy. No, easy. What, I mean, what were you doing? Richard's a phenomenal performer. He's one of my best friends, All but right. I don't understand why you cut in on my material. It was a uh, false The people came here and paid $10 to hear me sing. <laughs> if it was 11, the room would be empty. I wanted them to get their money's worth, Well, sir. here's to you, kid. Cheers. We actually Cheers. like each other. I just can't stand him. <laughs> You know, uh, seriously, what nights are you with? Seriously? Well, we're going to get serious now? We've oh, been good. joking around all night. Someone gave, gave him some crystal meth outside. <laughs> so anyway, you're in the wrong neighborhood. Adam, tell me what nights you're at the Zin Bistro. That's Z-I-N, like Zinfandel Bistro, located in the Landing Shopping Center of beautiful Westlake Village, California. This guy's looking for a sponsorship. I got Bing's low notes I'm, once in a while, you know? I'm going to lose my gig and they're going to hire you. I see what you're well, doing. Well, Adam, I've already talked to them. They texted me earlier. You're history, pal. You're All dead right. meat. Speaking okay? of history, isn't Johnny doing a great job, ladies and gentlemen? No. Woo! <laughs> This is great. I don't want to work with a team. I'm doing just fine by myself. I have a real job. You uh, other folks. Christine Nelson's in the room tonight. Lovely Christine Nelson, one of the finest singers in L.A. Thank you for being here, Christine. And you Brian are lovely. Hogan. Brian, Brian Hogan, Hogan is there. Musician. Marvelous. And don't forget Johnny Crawford's show coming up. You know, Johnny Crawford has a marvelous band. He's a great singer. And he'll be coming up. And you really, really want to hear something special. You want to hear Johnny Crawford. But I do want to turn the mic over to my pal Adam here. Because I know he's uh, managed to figure out another Frank Sinatra song he could try to imitate. This song was actually, it's 1922. Yeah, you probably remember when it came out. It's a great song. It's about <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Oh, you're going to sing about that toddle in town where that the, toddle, man, just, the man danced with his wife? You ruined it. Okay, that's, I'll leave now. You, you gave the whole thing away. It's a story. Well, everyone knows the song. Well, excuse me. Okay. Thanks. All right. All right. Well, what did you bring me, you teeny bopper, you? What is this? Lagavulin. <gasps> my favorite. This is how I lost my voice on July 3rd. You are the one who caused Dr. Schroeder to charge me a lot of money. Adam Tunney to sing Chicago, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead, kid. You sound great, though, Johnny. You got your voice. This guy couldn't talk two weeks ago. Isn't he doing a great job? Thank you very much. Unbelievable. I wish you would stop talking and just sing, but... Chicago, Chicago, that toddling town. Chicago, Chicago, I'll show you around. I love it. Bet your bottom dollar you lose the blues in Chicago, Chicago, the town that Billy Sunday couldn't shut down. On State Street, that great street, I just want to say, they do things they don't do on Broadway, say. 
You'll have the time, the time of your life. I saw a man and he danced with his wife in Chicago, Chicago, my hometown. Jeff Nudell, ladies and gentlemen. Chicago, Chicago, that toddling town. Chicago, Chicago, I'll show you around. I love it, bet your bottom dollar, you lose the blues in Chicago. Chicago, the town that Billy Sunday could not shut down. On State Street, that great street, I just want to say, they do things that they don't do on Broadway, say. You'll have the time, the time of your life. I saw a man and he danced with his wife in Chicago. 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 That's my I've got to tell you, Adam, that was very, very nice, very nice. I feel bad, though. Why? I'm from Scottsdale, Arizona. What's that? I'm from Scottsdale. It's not my hometown. I just lied to everybody. Nobody's perfect. But anyway, not even you. But I wanted to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I was commenting earlier to Adam. I thought he looked like he was going to his prom tonight. And I must say, oh, this is well, very thank nice. You. Be, uh, is this Silex or Silex or whatever they call it? Did you ever go? Did they have prom back in your day? I actually went to the prom. You went to the prom. I got to hear about this. I want to know about Johnny Holiday's prom date. Well, it was some years ago, obviously. And uh, yeah. okay. we went to Club 19 at uh, Del Monte Lodge. 1919? Is no, that no, no, no. Okay. That's the name of the restaurant. It's Sorry. very, very nice. You would never be allowed in. And uh, no, I had it's a date. It was 75 years ago. No, All right, okay. no, I had a date, and she was a very nice girl, but uh, we had a few problems. But what it was, was the issue? Uh, well, she uh, had early American features. She sort of looked like a buffalo. And oh. uh, we, we didn't get along that well, so we didn't go to the after party. Of course, back in then, we had Tower of Power playing at our prom, and I have no idea who they are, but I understand they're working in Paso Robles this weekend. I'm at the Cicada Club. Anyway, Adam Tunney, ladies and gentlemen, catch him at Zen Bistro, which is located in the Landing Shopping Center on Friday nights in beautiful Westlake. Believe me, it's worth the drive. The food Thank is you. excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Adam. Thank you very much. Drinks are over there. Go have a cocktail. Since you brought me one, remember that one's mine. The one with the strict nine. I want to... <laughs> I actually uh, tease Adam quite a bit. On Facebook, we have this little banter going back and forth, but he's an awful lot of fun. And I honestly do believe he is one of the finest young male singers I've heard in many, many years. And it's about time we had some, because frankly, the women have pushed us all out into the bus depot. And here's one who could easily do that because she's got a great voice. My friend, who I was introduced to by Adam Tunney, Miss Courtney Free. Come on up here, gorgeous. And I want to tell you, you look very lovely tonight. I feel like I should stand next to Ryan Seacrest. Who did your jewelry? <laughs> My grandmother. My grandmother. She made jewelry? No, I wish. She just gave it to me. But, but that's more important than that, you know. It's true. You know what wishing is, right? Wishing, la da da dee. So you gonna sing another song for us? I'm thinking about it. Was it a Harold Arlen song? It is. Oh my God, another! I love you. What are you gonna sing? Old Black Magic. Oh my God, I love that one. You know, Keely Smith comes here from time to time, and that, of course, was a big, big tune for her and Louie. So you're gonna sing Old Black Magic with Courtney Freed, ladies and gentlemen. Old black magic has me 
in its spell That old black magic that you weave so well As I see fingers up and down my spine That same old witchcraft when your eyes meet mine That same old tingle that I feel inside And then that elevator starts its ride And down and down I go, around and around I go Like a leaf that's caught in a tide. I should stay away, but what can I do? I hear your name, and I'm a flame, a flame with such a burning desire that only our kings can put out the fire. Oh, you're the lover I have waited for, the maid that fate had me created for. I'm in under that old black magic called love. I really was whispering to Courtney, she is so damn talented. I love the voice, love the beat, love the band, love the song, and thank you so much, Courtney Free. Wasn't she wonderful Thanks, again? She's great. Thank you again. Your Harold Arlen CD. And you know, Courtney, you didn't tell me. Where, where can I, can you help me real quick? Because I, I, I've got another guest, but I want to ask you a question. Where, Why, how, yes, Johnny. How do we? <laughs> Why, yes, Johnny. Nine um, double seven. No, no, sorry. No, uh, go ahead, operator. It's available on iTunes oh. and on CD Baby. CD Baby. Yes. And I also have some. If you need it right now and you can't wait another I, second. I couldn't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a marvelous song. Uh, Harold Arlen, truly one of our great composers, uh, wrote so many marvelous, I mean, to me, he's one of the best, and you just gave him great justice in the way you delivered that number. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're marvelous. Courtney Freed again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight, I brought on a new friend of mine, very talented young lady, formerly of the Air Force, who loves the music of the 1940s and will soon be producing and putting together her own one-woman show of those songs. Let me please bring back Dinah. Is there anyone finer? Dinah Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. I, I want to tell you something. You remember that song? Oh, well, I, I learned that as a boy. You know, he did that with the Mills Brothers, too. I did not know that. And then he did it at the Shrine. Uh, not the Shrine, the, uh, what do you call it? The, Am the Old Ambassador Theater back in 1975. That's where Bing had his fall. But he sang unrehearsed with the Mills Brothers. And he had made that same, did that same song back in the 20s. So I'm glad that you're uh, not going to sing, Dinah. You've actually picked a pretty good tune. You picked a, 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 a Crosby favorite of mine. Uh... I believe it's a long, it's been a long, long time. It's been a long, long time. Well, why don't you sing it and let these folks remember what it used to be like. This is Let's back when it. music was written that you could actually remember the words to the next day. 
<laughs> it's been a long, long right. time by the lovely Dinah Stewart. Remember that name, please. Never thought that you would be standing here so close to me. There's so much I feel that I should say, but words can wait until some other day. Just kiss me once, then kiss me twice, then kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time haven't felt like this my dear since can't remember when it's been a long long time you'll never know how many dreams i dreamed about you but just how empty they all seemed without you so kiss me once then kiss me twice then kiss me once again it's been a long long is to be sung. No, I love that little... You know, there was a great singer I used to open for who's been gone for a while named John Gary, and he had a little cry in his voice that he learned from Buddy Clark, and I heard that same little cry in your voice, and I loved it. And by the way, you guys, each one of you that took a bit of that, it just brought back some great memories. That was wonderful. Thank Dinah. Will you please come back and sing for us again when I, I have my next show? incredibly honored to do that. Thank you so much, Dinah. Thank you. You're an angel. Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. I think this is a young lady we'll be hearing more from in the future, Miss Dinah Stewart. You know, the purpose of this program really, you know, isn't for me to sing 19 songs. I only sing a couple because I think we need a venue where we can feature new talent or remind people about some of the great talent that's still out there. Here's a song going back some years. Uh, if you were fortunate enough to hear the, uh, the outtake that Bing did where he started swearing because he came in at the wrong part, which was actually, unfortunately, bootlegged and issued, um, hopefully I won't make the same mistake as we wrap our troubles in dreams. When skies are cloudy and gray they're only great for a day So wrap your troubles in dreams Dream your troubles away Just remember that sunshine Always follows the rain And wrap your troubles in dreams 
Dream those troubles away, say Castles will tumble, that's fate after all Life's mighty funny that way No use to grumble, smiles at fall Weren't you king for a day, say Just remember the sunshine Always follows the rain And a wrap, wrap your troubles in dreams Dream your troubles away Take it, boys! He's still with us, God bless him. And I hope you'll enjoy this last dance tonight together. I'll be back in September with a whole host of new stars. And then I'll be back in December for our Christmas, the Johnny Holiday Christmas Gala. A little bit of a sing-along. I think I'll bring Bing back just for this particular night if he'll cooperate and I can make a deal with St. Put Peter up there. All right, here we go. I hope you like this one. It's always a nice one to close the night with, I think. I'll see you in my dreams Hold you in my dreams Someone took you out of my arms Still I feel the thrill of your charm Lips that once were mine Tender eyes that shine May we light my way tonight I'll see you in my dreams And I know I'll see all of you in my dreams as I thank Samantha Shelton Miss Courtney Free. I also want to thank, of course, the very talented Dinah Stewart, my friend Adam Tunney, of course. And I also want to thank, oh my God, I forgot somebody. Help me. Cassie Miller, where are you? Cassie, thank you so much. And Chloe, thank you too, and thank you everybody. Lips that once were mine. Tender eyes that shine They will light my way tonight I'll see you in my dreams Thank you everybody, good night, God bless you Thank you very much for coming to the program 
Thank you, boys.